welcome you and your families. And at this time, the house can be passed. Huh? are professional and personalized to the care of these amazing animals. It's a huge responsibility, but the ultimate privilege to be able to care for, teach, learn from, and build strong relationships with these five killer whales. We're excited to show what we've learned from those relationships with all of you today and for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Orca Encounter! <laughs> Whale. She's 30 years old. To 
Sakara is also the matriarch of our pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us and take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry, or healthcare behaviors. Kyla and Gary are joining us in the slide out to demonstrate some of these behaviors. with their mothers and the other whales. Well, here at SeaWorld, they play follow the leader with all of us by mimicking our movements. Now let's play a quick game of follow the leader with all of you. Everybody to my left. Take your left hand, stick it high in the air, and give Sakari a big wave. Look, she's waving right back at you. As you can see, Sakari's paying close attention to you. Killer whales are very curious animals. We often see them spy hopping or even jumping completely out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings. Let's demonstrate that today with the behavior called a sighting bow. Take that left hand, point it out in front of you, and throw it over your opposite shoulder. Correct signal. Sakari is traveling all the way down to the bottom of this 40-foot deep habitat and look towards the center. Whoa! Wow, that was great! Killer whales can communicate in a variety of ways and using yeah. the emotions is just wonderful. Let's see if we can ask Kayuka to demonstrate one for us. Take your partner fingers and pretend as if you're conducting an orchestra. That's beautiful. Did you know scientists believe that when a killer whale leaps out of the water, it may be a way of communicating to make their presence known? You see, sound waves travel four and a half times faster through water than sound traveling through air. So when a whale leaps out of the water and it crashes back down onto the surface, that's called a breach. And that sound can be heard for miles. 
Now Kaiyuki, he's traveling down to the bottom of this habitat, and if you look towards the center once more, check this out. Wow! <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for all of your help. Go ahead and give yourselves a round of applause. Super theory, no? So that's it for today's vlog. No, not vlog. That's it for today's gala. Thank you for watching. Please don't subscribe my channel and like and comment of collection. So please unsubscribe. <laughs> so. Las personas, sí señora, sí señor, pero.